Hi, Dave Snyder here. It is the 12th day of October 2013. And I just want to get a little update and I want to show you a few, th few things because this probably will be one of my last videos until, I've, until something happens where I can just uh, find something really clear. I mean, I'm going to show you something really clear in this video. You, you should have no doubt after, after what I show you that what I'm saying is true. Okay? And, and you can always check yourself. There's no doubt you can check yourself. All right, update on the mind calendar. You see the eyes, how one comes to a point like that, and one gets cut off right here. Okay. Just want to show up and bring up Schrodinger and right here. Okay. Take a look at the eye. Where, where this? Okay, let's look at this one first. That that's cut off at the corner. And what we see here is like a, the same angle right there. See that? See the same angle? Okay, now look at the other side. This eye. See how this, see that part right there where it kicks out right there? Okay, I'm sure that's that's what that is. See that right there? See it where it kicks out? Okay, that's not all. The tongue is right here. This is what, they, this is the tongue that they're, it's, they drew it this way. But that is the tongue, I'm sure. See that? Looks like a tongue coming out of there. Okay, that, I'm sure that's a tongue. Now just pay attention. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you a video, video on my channel real quick, actually. Um, channel. Okay. I want you to pay attention to this video one more time. Please, okay, just please pay attention to this. Okay, this this, this part of this crater right here, this is the weather right here. Now watch when I watch when I show the weather, the radar. Please pay attention. It's worth it, trust me. I'm going to show you enough stuff in this video. See that, see that horn shape right there? Okay, now look at the weather, the radar fit it perfectly. I'm going to shut the clouds off in a minute and you'll see. Look at that spot there. See that spot? I can't zoom in, so. The harp ring centers I marked. That is Schrodinger Crater. I just showed you the mine counter of the same crater. Now watch, watch this. There's the clouds. Look at that circle. See that spot right there? Look at that. Now watch, just pay attention. This part right here. Look at the radar. Mm, look at that. Look at that. See that shit? That's what I'm trying to show you here. Now just keep watching. I'm going to stop this right here. I don't need this no more. Now I'm going to go back to Google Earth. Now let's take a look at the whole area around this crater right here. Schrodinger, I think it's this one. Turn this one off. Same one. Same crater. Same, same direction, everything, right? Take a look right next to this. See this shape right here on the moon? All right, we just seen this crater in the weather, all, right here in this exact same spot, right here. See that there's the horn shape, there's the tongue I just showed you. Okay, this is the exact same spot. See that shape? See the see where it breaks through right there? Look, see that right there? Okay, that's coincidence. It's not coincidence. Look, there's Yellowstone right there. Look. Tiny bit off. Not, not, it's right, almost right over it. That's that. You see that? Right? You see the shape? Of, <laughs> it's all there. Check it out. Pretty interesting. Now watch this. Here's a, here's a weather pattern from, the, I think, yesterday. See the circle again right there? Here's California. There's there's the other the area we're looking at right there. 
See how it goes up? Okay, now take a look. This is the, I think the South Pole is what, I don't know if this is the center of the impact or what. It probably is the center. But check this out. This is the South Pole. And take a look at this. Right where it hits. Right, where, right in the center, look at this area of the Earth in the ocean floor. And I'm sure it looks much different than they're showing. Right dead center of that right there. Okay. So you got that. That's this is we just seen it in the weather, people. I just showed you the radar from the from these people right here. That was the radar there. I didn't mess with it at all. I lined up Schrodinger Schrodinger crater there, and this is the same way as I just showed you. And there it is, right there. Bam. You want to see it in the other one too? This one's a little needs to be adjusted a little bit right there there it is right there okay that enough of that okay so now I want to show you how this creates hurricanes this th let me just say this crater the Schrodinger crater on the moon when you measure it on Google moon it's 200 miles in diameter right I've seen that Schrodinger crater in the weather it's on the Earth, everywhere at 1,200 miles in diameter, everywhere. And I've seen it so many times. You can watch my videos how many times I've seen that crater in the weather on the Earth. Lined it up, showed you the hurricanes that it creates right here. I'm going to show you one right, three of them right now. Watch this. Hurricane proof, okay. Right here, these are these are famous hurricanes that have, were all going on at one time. Here's Florida right here. Here's Central, Central America right here, right? See that? Okay, and I showed I've showed in the past a, a video where, where uh, Schrodinger fits just perfectly here in the weather one day. It's it's undeni undeniable. You can check, go back and look at my video, my channel, and find that video. It's incredible. Okay, so anyways, here is Schrodinger over this hurricane. Just take a look. I think it's easier to see it like this, maybe. It absolutely shapes that hurricane. I'm telling you that you may not see that, but you can pull up any hurricane and put it in the center of the Schrodinger, and it will fit in this crater. Look at this up here. Might have it a little bit off too, but that that I guarantee you, any any hurricane. And then look at Florida. It's Florida pretty good. This line up here. Watch this in the, clap in the weather. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I've showed it other ones before too that it just fit perfectly in there. Even more detailed than this. Okay, here you go. More, more proof in this year. Imrium. 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 Okay, over, here we go, Imbrium weather. This is weather pattern I saved probably, I don't know, I don't know when I saved it, probably three months ago or something. And I just pulled it up the other day because I was just, I just, I was bored on Google Earth. There's no weather on here right now. If you look, look on here, the weather is, uh, that's what you get when you turn the weather, the clouds on. So I, I haven't had nothing to do but pull up some old weather patterns that I haven't been able, haven't worked with yet. So I pulled this one up. And I was looking at it, and I and I knew I knew what it was. You can see it. Look at it. What do you think that is? What area of the moon do you think that is? That's the one. It faces the Earth. Okay, Imbrium. Imbrium weather. Okay, so here is Imbrium over the weather. And this is a drawing of Imbrium. It's not the actual picture of, of the moon, but it's good enough. See the shape, right here. And you could say that that's not that, but you look at this. Look at the lines in here. Look at this. And you can see that they change this area right here. This is they change that area, and then watch where Copernicus lands, right here, Copernicus, right there in this spot. Now check out Copernicus and the surroundings of it. 
can tell that they changed the center of it with the weather. You can see that that's not right. That's not natural. Or maybe it is. Who knows? But I mean, just look. At, you can see this up right here where it goes up like this. I just threw it up there. I mean, it's it was. I mean, I just lined up Copernicus and I lined up this area, and that's it. And it was fit right in there. Now you can see also that they're hot. This is Antarctica right here. This this is this picture. This weather was down by Antarctica. You can see the Antarctic Peninsula there, and this is the edge of the coast of Antarctica. And you see this spot where they're hiding this area. That shape. But you can also see this area, the dark area. You can see that how that all fits. And they're pretty good. And look at the center, a little curly cue in the center. Okay, so now that's that's more proof right there. I think I think that's proof right there. I absolutely do, because I mean you can take all this. There's no way you get this put this on the Earth in the weather that shape. No way, unless that's unless it's from that. And I and there's other ways I can prove that embryo hits the Earth. I mean, I could the moon is bigger. I'll, really, I don't even care to prove it to anybody anymore. I've already proven it to myself. Ten times, a hundred times over, I've seen way better stuff than this that I'm showing here. I mean, this stuff here, this is this is that picture I showed you was from Google Moon, this Schrodinger crater, right here. This is from this this is from Google Moon. This picture, see right here. Look at that, Google Earth. It's from Google Earth. Call it what you want. There it is. There's that right there. That's no, that's enough to build. A, that's enough to rebuild the supercontinent because you'll find that impact is every crate, every uh, continent is involved in it, and you can rebuild the supercontinent. Super, South America will go right here, Africa will go here, and they had to be layered on top of each other some, to some ex, some extreme. I know it all sounds too too much for people to handle, but I mean. Like I said, it's the last one of the last videos I'm gonna make. Unless I find something something that really if you can see that. You gotta be able to see that. And you gotta you gotta un understand what you're seeing. This this picture of the moon is crap. There's no way that this that the moon looks that 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 bland. I've looked at, I've looked at the moon with, with binoculars and seen these craters better in sharper detail. You can't see these craters at all. But I guarantee that the ancient people used to see this side of the moon. Guaranteed. Stonehenge, and I guarantee that's the center of the Mayan uh, calendar. So the Mayans were off a, a couple years, I'm sure. I'm sure they were off a couple years. I mean, even if it was just a year. I mean, it's obviously not a year. It, maybe that just maybe they were right on the money too. It could, it could be. That's could be could be when it all started to change, and we don't even know it yet. That's why the weather's changing so bad the sun's flipping poles and any time now the moon can start coming back towards earth but if I go by the things that I've learned it won't be till the, around the 30th century that it takes place but I'm sure things will be extremely different bef well well before then there'll be a, lo a lot of a lot of things leading up to, to the uh, to the event we probably won't live to see the event I know I none of us will if it happens in the 30th century, anybody alive right now will, unless they come up with some kind of crazy life extension thing, which I don't doubt that'll happen. Take your brain and put it in somebody else's body. <laughs> they probably already do that. I, I'm pretty sure they already do that. They must. They must do that already. Some kind of brain transplant. Just look at that. Just look at that area. No doubt. This is this video doesn't turn out as good as I wanted it to turn out, but maybe I'll just upload another one. I think I'll be. Have a good day.